ఫ్రెష్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ ఫ్రెష్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ ఫ్రెష్ ఆర్ సమ్థింగ్ ఈజ్ దే ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ ఫ్రెష్ కూచ్ కూచ్ సో ఆన్లైన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ ఫ్రెష్ ఆర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ క్లియర్ what about everything, everything is fresh bro everything, yeah. everything is fresh bro <laughs> whatever you thought yesterday we have uh, totally it is out really test now <laughs> complete delete yeah it will it is not uh, expected actually because that is a very dry dry means technical actually that is it is having yes, some bro. yeah okay so what about dinadatri mata ji she is not there on the line there మదర్ హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభుజీ హరే కృష్ణ మదర్జీ సో యూ వాంట్ సే సమ్థింగ్ బిఫోర్ స్టార్టింగ్ క్లాస్ యూ వాంట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ రిమెంబర్ యూ what is going on okay ha huh? want to say no okay <laughs> it is clear actually okay tirumala swami what is going on <laughs> uh-huh yes lords even lord is having senses senses means karanas so but still there is a difference between the senses and karana so senses are the senses are karanas but all karanas are not senses like that so here <coughs> lord is having these some hands legs and so on these are all the different karanas for him instruments to do any activity but still vedas are glorifying him he is not having any karana so how it is possible that is a discussion that we are see he is having the senses because we are hearing in many many vedic texts is a uh, vedic text so he is having the hands and he is having the legs and by that he is doing so many different various activities then how this shruti this shruti sir saying that uh, so he is not having any legs and hands akarnaha so how how it is so that we have to discuss yesterday we discussed what is the definition of karnam యా కర్తృశక్తి ప్రేరిత ప్రేరితతయ కార్యకరం కర్తృభిన్నతమం కేవల కరణత్వాపన్నం కేవల కరణత్వం తస్ ఆపన్నమేవ వస్తు అంగీకృతం ఓకే ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యా ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్ఫుల్ టు డూ కార్య వెన్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎంప్లాయిడ్ ఇన్ employed or when it is used by the karta but in, otherwise it is employed in the karya in the activity by the energy of the doer yeah by do- doer's energy only it is becoming the so it is becoming able it is able to do the accomplish the activity any activity example is the stick so stick is able to produce the part when when it is used by the energy of lord energy of the doer karta and also one more condition is it is different from the karta kartru bhinnatamam then this is the basic definition so it is the basic definition
then it is known as karana but there is one more karana we also discussed that is uh, swarupa prabhu swarupa the stick is karana yeah prabhu yes prabhu and the, yeah stick yeah. is karana and the jivatma who is doing that is yeah stick is karana. able to produce the ghata because no yeah stick is able to produce the ghata that means stick is able to produce the ghata means by when it is employed in that activity by the by the doer 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 means potter here potter jab jab ghada banane wala jab is lakdi ko jab use karenge tab ja kar wo lakdi ghada ko bana pa rahe bana payegi ha isiliye वो कारण इसीलिए वो हो गया क्यों कर्ता की शक्ति से वो काम में आ रहे हैं उपकरण हम्म वो तो कारण होगा और कर्ता से भिन्न भी होना है सो दैट मींस द वन व्हिच इज या इज इज एम्प्लॉयड इन द प्रोड्यूसिंग द सम प्रोडक्ट सो थ्रू द शक्ति ऑफ थ्रू द एनर्जी ऑफ द डूअर एंड इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द डूअर एग्जांपल इज द स्टिक and there is one more karanam we are discussing that is that is due to swarupa actually it is not different from the swarupa of that doer that means it is not different from the him it is a it is inside to the swarupa of the doer then in that case also we say that is karanam but it is we are saying that in that case also we are saying that as a karanam but with the secondary meaning yeah गोणार्थ या गोणार्थ सो ही आर एग्जाम्पल इज द हीट एनर्जी ऑफ द फायर फायर इज बर्निंग द क्लॉथ आर समथिंग एनीथिंग फायर इज बर्निंग द ग्रॉस सो ही आर फायर इज बर्निंग ग्रास सो नाउ हु इज बर्निंग हु इज अ डूअर ही आर फायर सो फायर इज बर्निंग ग्रास थ्रू इट्स हीट एनर्जी सो heat energy is what heat energy is the karanam here so here but this heat energy can you see different from the fire can you separate the heat energy from the fire or can you say is the both are same no so main point is you cannot separate the heat energy from the fire so it is swarupa bhuta it is swarupa bhuta of the fire that means it is internal to the swarupa of the fire yeah so that's why this kind of karanam in this case we are saying that heat energy is also karanam but it is gaunartha that there the word karanam is used in the gauna secondary meaning not the main meaning not in the main meaning okay this we discuss so lord स्वरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपरूपर
तद अनासक्तवाद तदनपेक्ष यतस्वराजस्वूपसीजसे नौ आफ्टर दैट वी डिस्कस्ड वन मोर् पॉइंट दीज हैंड्स एंड लेग्स आर् कर्ण फॉर् द ओनली जीवात्मा नाट फॉर् दि परमात्मा अफकोर्स बोथ आर् स्टेइंग इन द सेम बॉडी सो दे वै वी आर् सेंग इन वन के दे आर् बट दो बोथ आर् दट मीन दिस हैंड्स एंड लेग्स आर् डिफरेंट फ्रम दि स्वरूप आफ् दि जीवात्मा अंड आलो परमात्मा but why we are not calling these hands and legs are the karanam for the paramatma the reason is yeah 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 here the point is jivatma is using these that means it is desiring to use these hands and legs so that's why they are becoming karanam for the jivatma so i also yesterday i said when the stick is lying on the table and that is not the karanam for the potter who is producing the pot so he is using another stick and another one stick is lying on the table and another stick is in the, his hands so in this case so which which stick is the karanam for him the stick which is in the hands not the which is in the table yeah lying on the table so similarly because why what is the reason fundamental reason that that A potter is not desiring to use the stick which is on the table for the producing the uh, for for producing of the ghada. That's a pot. So same way here, Paramatma is not at all desiring to use any hands and legs for his purpose, for 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 any production or anything. Production of anything, only Jivatma is using. So that's why these hands and legs are karanam for only Jivatma, not for the. परमात्मा तद अनपेक्षक दट मीन ही डजंट हेव एनी अपेक्षा मीन एनी डिपेडेन्सी जीवात्मा इज हेविंग डिपेडेन्सी बट परमात्मा इज नाट हेविंग एनी डिपेडेन्सी ऑन दि हैंड्स एंड लेग्स द रीजन इज ही इज स्वराट द नेक्स्ट श्रुति सर से वै हीज अकर्ण बिकॉज ही इज स्वराट That means sena uh, eva rajate means sarupa shakti eva rajase. Sruti sir saying, "Oh my dear Lord, you are akarna ha. You are staying in this body, but these hands and legs are not your hands and you are they are, they are not karna for you. You can take like this also meaning. These hands and legs you are staying in every living entity, body of every living entity, but." those hands and legs are not becoming karanam to you because you are anapekshah you don't have any dependency so because you are swarat you everything you fulfill by your own energy that is swarupa shakti so swarupa shaktiva rajase iti so in the society also many people uh, uh they think actually lord is also doing lord is accepting the uh bhoga so they all they 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 don't know the principle of swarup shakti that's why they discuss they say like this they keep on uh, blame he is also like uh, us but the difference is this that means his hands and legs are due to swarupa shakti that is anyway coming next tatha pralaya kala kalavasane tatha pralaya kalavasane striya uragendra bhoga bhuja danda vishakta dhiyo vayam pite sama samadrusho angri suroja sudha this is also said by vedas only all shrutis they are glorifying in the previous shloka what they are saying
big big uh, this yeah simply by constantly thinking of him the enemies of the lord attained the same supreme truth whom sages fixed in yoga worship by controlling their breath mind and senses similarly we shrutis who generally see you as all pervading will achieve the same nectar from your lotus feet that your consorts are able to relish because of their loving attraction to your mighty serpentine arms for you look upon us and your consorts in the same way iti vidvad guru विद्वत गण गुरु भी अस्मा भी अभी निजालंबन त्वेन वर्णयमानम वर्णयमाना परमा दिव्या करना गण विचित्रो अभी असाउ आकरना एवा इफ वी सी दिस लोका ट्वेंटी थर्ड लोका निजाब्रुता मारु मारुन मनो मनोक्षा दृढ़ युजो हृदय यत् मुन उपासते तद अरयोपु स्मरणात् स्त्रिया उगेन्द्र भोग मेन पॉइंट इज हियर दिस दिस देम सेल्फ आर सेइंग हे माय डियर लॉर्ड जस्ट फ्यू मिनिट्स बैक वी आल्सो सेड यू आर हैविंग दी हैंड्स What? Striha, Uragendra, Bhoga, Bujadanda. That means Lord's hands are like the garland for the this girl, girl this uh, gopis. Uh, Uragendra, Bhoga, Bujadanda. Bujadanda. Danda means garland. Bujadanda means arms. So, who are saying this? No. No. Sritis they are saying, Sritis are saying. Means he is having hands, and now they are saying you don't have any hands. So now the point. Vidvad gana guru bhi asma bhi api nija lamban atve na varnyama na parama divya karana guna vichitra ha apai asau. That means. What Lord is? Lord is having the divya karanas, parama divya kar, divya karana, gana vichitra, vichitra ha. That means he is having very uh, transcendental senses, and those are very different. Vichitra ha. That means very so different, and you are like that. And now they are saying, kutha akarana ha then. So one side, Sruti sir saying you are having hands, and now they are saying you don't have hands. You are akarana. They are not saying hands directly in this sloka. So akarana, they are saying you don't have any karanas. But previously, twenty-third sloka. This sloka is how much? Is a twenty-eighth sloka. We are so akarana. We are discussing. This is twenty-eighth sloka. In the twenty-third sloka, the same Sruti sir, they are saying you have hands, you have arms. Then one may get how it is possible now he is akarana ha kutha ha how it is. Now the answer is that's why Sruti sir are saying, see see I said we said in that sloka he is having hands and also we are saying here we are akarana ha. Then how it is possible? It is possible, swarat. That means he is having the divya. That means very transcendental hands, transcendental arms, and those are all due to. स्वरूप शक्ति स्वराट स्वराट स्वेन स्वरूप शक्ति विशेष सिद्ध प्रादुर्भाव विशेषेण स्वरूपेण तत्कर्णताया राजसे सो दट मीन्स ही इज हैविंग हैंड्स एंड लेग्स दीज आर ऑल ड्यू टू स्वरूप शक्ति दट्स वै दीज आर ऑल ऑल्सो यू आर सेइंग नाउ द हैंड्स एंड लेग्स The Lord is having hands and legs due to स्वरूप शक्ति सो हियर यू आर सेइंग एंड दट्स वै ही इज karana ha he is having hands and legs and those are the karana to the lord so here karana means which artha you are taking huh? you 
Lord is having the hands and legs due to Sarupa Sakti. And now you are saying these hands and legs he is having. So he is Karanaha. So then Sakaranaha. That means he is having Karanas. So here Lord is having the Karanas due to Sarupa Sakti. So here Karana word is taking which mind meaning? Gauna or the Mukya? These are Gauna. Gauna or the is the right answer. Due to Sarupa Sakti. If due to Sarupa Sakti anything, anything became Karana, that is, there if you say that is Karana, like the heat energy. Heat energy, uh, uh, fire is burning the cloth or anything the, through, the, saru, through the heat energy. So there, heat energy is the Karana. So then what, what, in what meaning we are taking Karana there? What, the Karana word is taking which meaning? Gaunard. Similarly here, heat Gaunard. energy in the place of heat energy you keep the Sarupa Sakti. So he is having hands and legs due to Sarupa Sakti. And these hands and legs are Karana you say, but here also the Karana word is used in the which, which manner? Gaunard. This is second explanation actually. Same, Swarat means what? Svena sve, eva rajate. That means he is manifesting by him himself actually. So himself means what? By his Swarupa Sakti. Yeah. Swarupa Sakti and himself is no difference because it is Swarupa Sakti. Since it is Swarupa Sakti, then it is non-different from the Swarupa. That means it is non-different from him. That is the meaning of the Swarupa Sakti. Hmm. Hmm. We gave exa gave example like a fire uh -huh. and heat. Correct. Yeah. And heat is a Swarupa for Swarupa the, Sakti of the fire. Swarupa the fire. That's why we are Bec taking a second. Yeah, you cannot separate it. So which can be separated, like we said, hands and other hand ah, and other. They are from different the from the Sarupa. Yes. Then we can take in the uh, the mukkarta. They are the uh, mukkarta. They, ah, if you say those hands and legs are karana to that person, then the word karana is taken in that case mukkarta. Arms, yes, that point, only that point, Bhujadanda. That's why Jiva Goswami, he never quote everything actually. Even it is the middle of the sloka. Only the, the whatever, Striyaha, Nija Bhujadanda, buja Nija Bhoga Bhujadanda, that, that. Prabhu, that much <coughs> last, take. last explanation. Yeah. We use this Gaunartha because that was uh, in, in, in not indirect but uh, secondary meaning. Yeah. But we speak now from di uh, direct meaning here. Uh, uh -huh. Swarup Shakti is your direct uh, Shakti of the Lord. Yeah, so he is having hands and legs. Yeah. So due to Swarup Shakti. And uh, uh, due to Swarup Shakti. Yeah. So then these hands and legs, you say Karana to the Lord. So then the word Karana is taking which meaning? Actually, Gaunardha or the Mukhyardha, I ask. It is taking Gaunardha only. Because no. Karana means what? If you want to uh, say Karana is taking Mukhyardha, then what condition should be satisfied? So that Karana should be the Outside. different from the Swarupa of the okay, okay. Binna. Yeah, but, but for what we use, for, for why we need that second explanation, then it's not so clear for me. Because huh? we explained that also previously. Yeah. So in this sloka you see, Tom Akaranaha, Srutis are saying, Oh my dear Lord, you don't have any karana. Previously. No, no, in this sloka itself is saying, Tom akaranaha. This sloka, this sloka means 28 sloka. That is our Anuchyada, Vishay Vakyam. Tom akaranaha, swarad, akila, karaka, shakti dara. This sloka is there, na? Mm -hmm. So now what we are hearing? Tom akaranaha. That means, Srutis are saying, my dear Lord, you are akaranaha. Akaranaha means, you don't have any karana. But uh, we hear in the previous 
uh, same Shrutis previously they are saying you are having hands and legs. So then he is Akaranaha means he should not have any hands and legs. But still he is having hands and legs means what is the meaning? Meaning is he is he, having the hands and legs due to Sarupa Sakti. That means some, even if you say in this case these hands and legs are Karana, then that Karana word is taking the Gonartha. If you say these hands and legs due to Sarup Sakti are also Karanam in Mukhyartha, then these hands and legs should be separate, separate from the Lord. This is from yesterday, yes? Or this new one, new explanation? No, the same. Okay, then it's okay. Because you told us there's a second explanation, this new one. That's why. No, no, sw Swarat. Swarat is the second explanation. Swarat, I said. Uh, Atma and Paramatma both are staying in the body. Yeah. So now how, uh, why we are saying Paramatma is not having these, these our hands are not Karana for him. Yeah, that's That how we are saying, because yeah. Lord is not dependent on, no on the, yeah. these things. Yeah. So Anapeksha. Yeah. So that means, that means why he is Anapeksha? Because he is Swarat. Swarat. Like that we said. Now there is one more explanation for this Swarat. So, Lord is having hands and legs. That means this, uh, that means for the gopis, his hands are becoming the garland. So here you are seeing this, he's having hands and legs. So these hands and legs are due to what? Swarat. Because of the Swarat he is. That means Swarat. Svena. That means Sarupa Sakti Sarupa Saktiya Raja say. Svena means Sarupa Saktiya. Swayam or Sarupa Sakti. Is that okay? One thing only. Non different. Okay, good. Thank you. <coughs> okay, so next uh, uh, Pradur Bhava Visheshena Sarupenaiva Tat Tat Karanataya 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 Raja say Tat Tat Karana. So they say these gopis they are saying gopis for, uh, for the gopis Lord's hands are becoming garland means there these hands and legs are due to Sarupa Sakti only. They are not hands and legs like us. Our hands and legs are different from the Swarupa of our own. Jivatma Swarupa. But his hands and legs are not different from the his Swarupa. Swarupa Sakti. Because he is Swarat. That means those hands and legs are due to Swarupa Sakti. Svena. So that's why in our case hands and legs are Karana for us. In what meaning? Karana is taking the Mukhyartha. And in his case, he is having hands and legs and if you say those hands and legs are Karana to him, but there if you say then that uh, uh, Karana is taking in the, with the Gaunartha. Yeah, it's not separate from him. Tesham Swarupa Bhutatvena Adakshpru, you got? Yeah. Huh? They are sleeping and uh, they will sleep enter Anucheda. <laughs> then they will not understand after this. <laughs> so how deep one one sloka this Vedastuti is. Next Tesham Swarupa Bhutatvena Mukya Karanatva Ayogad Iti Bhavaha. You see. So next Jiva Goswami is saying Mukya Karanatva. Ayogat iti bhavaha. That means his hands and legs are not, uh, are karana you say, but their karana is not taking the mukhya artha. That means main meaning. Tirumala Swami, you got? Following? Mother? Dinadatir Mother? Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Dinadatir Mother didn't come. What happened to her? Health is not good. Mm. Okay, because yes. <coughs> Amog Prabhu, following? Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Tesham Swarupa Bhutatvena Mukya Karanatva Ayogat Iti Bhava. Anyatha aupadi katha vastu dvara tavapi prakashe katham nama suratattum siddhite idibhava. 
so if you don't say lord's hands and legs are uh, karana but lord's hands and legs are karana their karana is taking the gona ardha only if you say he is taking their karana is taking mukhya ardha then what will happen he is not swarat understanding see lord is have hands and legs yeah that will be outside of the lord then he will not be swarat that's why swaratatvam swaratatvam na siddhyati <laughs> i didn't say it really tirumala <laughs> isi <laughs> it finished actually आनंदमात्रम अजरम पुराणम एकम संतम बहुधा दृश्यमानम नेह नानास्ति किंचना इत्यादि श्रुते हे देयर आर फ्यू मोर श्रुतिस टू कंफर्म रीकंफर्म दिस व्हाट श्रुतिस सेइंग आनंदम अजम अज आनंदमात्र अजरम पुराण एक सतम बहुधा दृश्यम इज वन बट ही अपियर्स इन मेनी वेज दट इज वै द सेम विष्णु अपियर्स इन मेनी वेज टू स्वरूप शक्ति नेह नास्ति किंचन दट मीन देर आर नो मेनी ओनली वन because that is every whatever you are seeing everything is due to swarup shakti and which is not different from him it is total then everything is one once again so even we are seeing so many hands legs conchal these that flowers so many padma everything and all these are due to swarup shakti only and which is not different swarup shakti means it is di- not different from the swarup so that means it is same that object only so then in that case what is going to happen it is one only so that's why shruti is saying neha nanaasti kinchana this is the meaning of neha nanaasti kinchana neha nanaasti kinchana means what na iha nana asti kinchana kuch bhi nahi hai wah that means little uh, uh, Nothing is there actually. Uh. Uh, neha, sorry, min, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, nana nasti. That means many are not there. That means only one is there. Uh, na iha sandhi. Actually, you should make sandhi. Nana asti. Iha nana nasti. Now you bring there. नाना अस्ति हम्म इफ यू ना इहा नाना अस्ति दैट मींस इहा मींस इन द नॉट इन दिस वर्ल्ड इन द इन द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ इन द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ नाना मींस मेनी you bring that na to here na asti yeah many are not there that means only one that is the meaning of neha na asti ityadi shrutehe and one more, one more thing ananda matram that means is only bliss nothing is there more ajaram puranam ekam when important is in that shruti also ekam you should focus on the word ekam and in this na iha nana asti ha uh, here also you have to focus on this ha uh, yes ah uh, this is just a supporting statement so these two shrutis are now what they are doing they are establishing this swaratatvam because swaratatvam means no other thing is there swarat means svenaiva by whom he is uh manifesting by himself nothing is there if you says many are there then what is going to happen 
then he is dependent on those then swarat he is not swarat yeah so finally we are seeing so many hands and legs lo looking they are all like many but they are all due to swarup shakti so there is only one so that's why he is swarat and their hands and legs are are karanam but there the word karanam is not taking the mukhya artha only gaun artha ha ah. gada padma prabhu mic you take mic prabhu you repeat the thing so just now you said that in the lord's form he has the chakra gada padma everything this is also due to the swarupa shakti hmm. right so if some may, someone may ask that uh, this is also karana only because th this is a reference only na like that yeah. someone may ask yes. this is karana yeah. which is lord is using yes so uh, how we can take that this is swarupa shakti and it is not a karana also it is karana only and but the word no. karana is not taking the mukhya artha why you are, that means like you simho manav kaha ye this brahmachari is lain you are saying lain because this person is having the some characteristics of the lain lain but he is not lain yeah. exactly similarly these shank chakra gada padma they are looking like instruments but not exactly ah uh, their instrument that means the word, you can say those are all instruments but the word instrument is not taking the main meaning if it is taking main meaning then those should be separate from him then nehana nasti kinchana is you cannot say then you cannot say his sorat he is dependent on some weapon which is not different from him to kill the asuras then he is dependent he is not independent then whole philosophy gone uh. so those uh, just his gada is also weapon so because some characteristics of weapon is there that means now in the material world gada is there and like that that gada is also is similar it is looking but what is the difference this gada is different from the karta doer but that gada is not different from the karta so that's why it is is there that if you even if you say that gada is a instrument but that instrument word is not taking the main meaning so that's why this facility you should understand the concept of main meaning and secondary meaning yeah nothing can be no you can say you cannot say everything is swarupa shakti it is different from the swarupa mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know because you see now that is the magic actually in our philosophy what we are doing so we are saying this material energy is there now this is the karana is there that means this gada is there this gada is is not instrument for the lord first of all and these are all separate from his different from his swarupa definitely different from his swarupa so that's why these instruments uh, are these instruments are that means he is not dependent on these instruments because he anapekshah so we said recently now what our hands and legs are not instruments for him why the reason is he is not dependent on him and this and uh, then then how can you say then tatvam is one only that kind of then these are these are all different from him then many tatvam become many that kind of problem will come na so then what we are saying 
we say this bahiranga shakti is also shakti and this shakti is is non different from the shakti man uh, so since shakti is not different from the shakti man and also it is different that's why we have to accept the principle of bed also so otherwise if you don't accept then you cannot facilitate this why we have to take philosophy like this because shrutis are saying and both it is saying so what they are saying shrutis these material hands and legs are there but those are all uh, not becoming instruments for him that means he is not dependent on them that means they are different from him that is also shruti is saying and shruti is also saying everything is one only that means nothing is different from him so then if you ask if you try to analyze and if you try to open it and see then the word achintyatvam you should accept uh. Uh. mike uh. no, what you are asking they are eagerly waiting uh, just now you said na uh. the material hands and legs it is he is not depending on that yes so that means he th that is different from him yes so that means then the tattvam will not become one ah that kind of problem will come that definitely that kind of problem will come yes, so yes. there i want to a little understanding ah. more how now uh, tattvam uh, tattvam means what total that means nothing is uh, different from him so that is vadanti tat tattva vidas tattvam as gnanam advayam already you are saying advayam ah uh, and uh, there is only one then this bahiranga shakti is there and if you don't reconcile if you don't uh, reconcile this and if you don't take into account and if you say it is tough separate from the lord then what is going to happen so then it is becoming two one is lord and another is this middle energy then tattvam is not one it is two now it will not be advayam then so to solve this problem we accepted what our philosophy this material energy is also is not different from the shaktiman but it is not swarupa shakti it is bahiranga shakti we took that's why help of this swarupa and bahiranga words but both are shakti only and possessed by the shaktiman only in that way they are not different from the shaktiman but they are acting differently that's why they are also divided different one is swarupa and another is bahiranga means external to what external to his swarupa since it is acting then how to understand many people say i am not able to understand this what you are saying is confusing then we are giving the example of the sun and the shadow that's why what in the chatur shloki what he is saying yatha abhaso yatha tama tad vidya uh, what is that shloka starting riterdham yat pratiyeta na pratiyeta chatmani tad vidya atmana maya yatha abhaso yatha tama that also we discuss same point actually there we discussed and also in the first canto you know arjuna tattva sandarbha also in the samadhi bhakti yogena manasi samyak pranihite mali there also we discussed so without the this idea of the achintya bheda bheda if you study the bhagavatam you will be confused actually you will not get the proper justification those will not settle in your brain easily otherwise they will fight each other one thought and another thought will fight so that's it <coughs> people who don't know this swarupa shakti and bahiranga shakti concept very clearly then they will mix the things and uh, there is a problem then problem they will create the deviation in the philosophy De deviation in the philosophy will come nanu 
ಮೈ ತಥಾ ಭೂತ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಾಮ ಅಸ್ಥಿತಾಂ ಕಿಂ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ನೌ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಓಹೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಗಾರ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಸೊ ನೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಮೈ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ ನಾವು ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ವರಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ತತ್ರ ಆಹುಹು ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಖಿಲ ಕಾರಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಧರ ಇತಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಖಿಲ ಕಾರಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಧರ ಅಖಿಲ ಕಾರಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಧರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಖಿಲ ಕಾರಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಧರ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೆಡ್ they are not saying it directly you have swarupa shakti they are saying akila karak shakti dara from this after analyzing this word we should establish that he is having the swarupa shakti and also he is having the bahiranga shakti if you don't say if this word is not capturing the bahiranga shakti then what will happen this bahiranga shakti is separate from him then this shakti is owned by some other one who is that then that problem will come so now we will analyze this word akila karaka shakti dharaha what is the meaning akilebhya pranibhya karakani means karanani chakshuradi golakani teshu shaktischa indriyani dharasi dadasi tatha sarveshu teshu tat tat dharanata ಅಖಿಲ ಕಾರಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಖಿಲೇಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಭ್ಯ ಕಾರಕಾಣಿ ಕರ್ಣಾಣಿ ಚಕ್ಷುರಾದೀನಿ ಗೋಲಕಾನಿ ತೇಷು ಶಕ್ತಿಶ್ಚ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಹಾಂ ಅಖಿಲ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟೀಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಭ್ಯ ಕಾರಕ ಅಖಿಲ ಕಾರಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದರ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ first term is akila akilebhya that means for all living entities karaka means karnani karnani means hands legs that means how many karnas we have 10 five uh, karma indriyas and nani these are karnas actually so karnani that means chakshuradi golakani karna means this senses means chakshu and shrota ears nose tongue all for all living entities eyes ears nose and so on teshu shakti ischa also shakti in them that means total sense total sense that means eyes along with its shakti means what it is it is the i i sense i organ with shakti in that is known as i sense i organ and shakti in that it is known as i sense dadasi dhara dhara dha, means dharasi dha, means dadasi means you give that means you give to all the living entities senses senses means that that limb and also energy in that so he is not giving only limb if he is giving only limb means then who is giving shakti in that 
So Shakti also he is giving. Uh. No, no, no. He is giving energy to all senses and also he is giving senses also. That means limb also. So Shakti means what you should take here? Kriya Shakti. The Shakti which is making that function. I is there and if there is no Shakti in that, then it will not see. Similarly, hand is there and there is no Shakti in that, it will not work. That Kriya Shakti. That means both. Kriya Shakti is due to? And that limb is due to? Bairanga Shakti. Limb. That means everything he gives. Dadasi. Tata sarveshu. Teshu tattat dharanata. In this way, in all those, you are holding that. Tastu tvai. Sotaha siddha avyayaha purnaha eva. So that means for all the living entities, he is holding the senses. He is giving the senses to all. But what about you? In your case, what? Ah. Ah, this point came. Now, we are asking, if you see the previous discussion, what Srutis are saying, Oh my dear Lord, you are Akaranaha and you are also why you, are, why you are said as Akaranaha? Because you are Swarat. Akaranaha means you don't have any Karanas. You don't have any Karanas. That means you are not dependent on any Karana. That means why you are not dependent? Because you are Swarat. And but we also say you have the hands. But these hands are due to? Sarupa Sakti only. Swarat, because you are Swarat. So you because you are Swarat and you know you have hands means those are all because of the Sarupa Sakti, you are saying. Now the Lord is asking, how can you say I am having Sarupa Sakti? How can you say I am having Sarupa Sakti? Okay, they claim about Lord, you are Swarat. That means he is having Sarupa Sakti. But how can you, uh, what is the proof for that? Lord is asking. Then they are saying, you see you are giving for every living entity, these two sectis. If you don't have, then how can you give? Like that. You are holding the senses for every living entity. That means sekti in that argon and also that argon. So that means this is the proof. Yeah. Akila shakti dharaha. Uh, what that we uh, we are elaborating so but sarupa sakti uh, uh, jugo sami what he does he, he never explain the every detail actually he jumps actually already he explained uh, that manah prana indriya buddhi mano diha so what is that sloka i don't know my, I cannot remember so many things. Uh, okay, anyway, this is, we all, you all know all this. Is cooked, na? Yeah. Dehendriya prana mano dhyomi yadamsha viddaha pracharanti karmasu. Yadamsha viddaha pracharanti karmasu. The, your energy is entering into his energy. Whose energy is entering into those and they are working. That is a, that is a thing actually. So, atha sarupa, sarupa kyam antaranga shaktim sarvasyapi pravrutyanyadhanu pupatya tavad aha tabhyam. This is the Anusheda actually. Sarupa Sakti is there. By just how can you say Sarupa Sakti is there? By seeing the functioning of all the different senses. Because Kriya Sakti, they are all working. So they are working means Kriya is happening. That means Kriya Shakti is there. 
and kriya shakti is not belong to the this material world this jada that means bahiranga because that is jada so this is the proof that's why here jiva goswami is saying tad uh, chakshuradi golakani teshu shakti cha he is not saying this shakti is proving swarupa shakti once again here because he already said in the previous anusheda he expect that much continuation of remembering the things <laughs> he expect ah uh, because these are very highly scholars na no? those uh, they speak in that level actually who is directly jiva goswami speaking so how he is a highly caliber personality actually uh, yeah they never repeat actually yeah they don't have that much time to <laughs> they always <laughs> busy <laughs> even he didn't mention also but this you should click immediately tejo shakti should because what is the question is asked how can you say i am having this swarupa shakti this is the lord's question then what is the answer akila shakti daraha there there is no word of swarupa shakti but only shakti is there so from there so swarupa shakti we should derive because here these senses are functioning with the shakti so means tejo shakti means kriya shakti and which is not part of the material energy and definitely it is the swarupa shakti like that you should connect <coughs> तथा सर्वेशु तेशु तत्तद्धारणात् नेक्स्ट तास्तु त्वयि स्वतः सिद्धाः अव्ययाः पूर्णाः एव सन्ति इति पाव ही इज गिविंग टू अदर्स मींस व्हाट अबाउट हिम नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन विल कम फॉर हिम एनीवन इज गिविंग ही इज गिविंग टू एवरीवन देन हु इज गोइंग टू गिव टू हिम दैट मींस स्वतः सिद्धाः this is the meaning he is giving to everyone means he is not taking from anyone that means what swataha siddha see how deeply he just to, from one point he turns like this and proves this point and turns like this and proves this point like that all he will establish that is the there is a, they are very extraordinary actually acharyas tastu that means those senses tu tvai svatah siddha that means this much feeling shrutis they are having in their heart what is this this explanation is nothing but we are seeing internally what shrutis are saying so once shrutis are saying and if nobody is accepting if anybody is going against to this then he is not he is not a vedanti actually he is not ve- vedic shruti sar if you don't follow then tastu tvai svatah siddhaha avyayaha purnaha eva santi iti bhavah so uchavar is svatah siddha that means nobody is giving to him because everyone is taking t- from him that means in him they are all self accomplished that means those are all avyayah those cannot be so that means diminished purnah this much meaning automatically will come after establishing sata siddhatvam then automatically other will come ah avyayatva and purnatva also will come immediately tatha cha in the same way so can you say any pramana for this after explaining that means jiva goswami is explaining this much from the akila karaka shakti dharaha so then he established this many facts that means he ha- lord is having the swarupa shakti this fact also he established so especially and also anyway sata siddhatvam is also established so now people may immediately get in the mind okay so based upon the bhagavatam shloka so vijay goswami gave this explanation from his uh, understanding so can we see anything that means in the same way 
yeah then shruti is also doing and so for that to answer that kind of people now jeev goswami is saying pranasya pranamuta chakshuscha chakshuhu ityadya this is shruti one more place in the shruti it is said pranasya pranam he is the prana to the prana chakshu to the chakshu what is the meaning of that chakshu is there and is a chakshu to the chakshu means in that chakshu in that argon and whatever the chakshu that means the chakshu means ability to see that is he only that means that is swarupa shakti chakshuscha chakshuhu pranasya pranam uta and there is one more shweta swarupanishad is saying swabhaviki gnana bala kriya cha ityadya cha ah swabhaviki that means this shakti is swarupa shakti swabhaviki means swarupa shakti gnana shakti bala and kriya these are all kriya shakti is swabhaviki means swarupa shakti ah Uh, yeah gnana means consciousness that is not belong to the bahiranga uh, yeah so consciousness and bala bala means what that is the ability in the ability in the senses huh? senses and bala that is bala is the ability in the uh, yeah so bala is the ability in the senses and also kriya means the shakti which is used to do the activities any shakti Which is used to, that means kriya. That means the shakti which is cause for the activities. Yes, these are all swabhaviki. If we want to get more details, so you have to see the our acharyas explanation on the Upanishads. Maybe Baldev Jabhushan. I think we are not having uh, those many. that means baldev jabushan's commentary but that is maybe missing actually but he wrote but other than that other acharyas they didn't write but you can we can refer ramanuj acharya also didn't write on the upanishad's commentary some after that later some others they wrote so that can be referred or otherwise madhva acharya wrote commentary on the all the upanishads then if you want to see the uh, what jugo sami does we already read in the tatva sandarbha so anywhere that means so he will follow the previous acharyas like madhva and ramanuja so he will take the that means explanations for those upanishad vakyas from them actually next taduktam ekadashe once again we are having one more place where he is having the swarupa shakti is mentioned 1144 within his body are elaborately arranged the three planetary systems of this universe his transcendental senses generate the knowledge acquiring and active senses of all embodied beings his consciousness generates conditioned knowledge and his powerful breathing produces the bodily strength sensory power and conditioned activities of the embodied souls he is the prime mover prime mover through the agency of material modes of goodness passion and ignorance and thus the universe is created maintained and annihilated yasya indriyaihi tanubrutam ubaye indriyani gnana svata svasanato bala mojo iha so from whose limbs but from whose senses from the from the lords different different organs different different this all came 
anyway this you can see elaborately uh, when we read that so this sloka's discussion is not main here just to say that swarupa shakti is is there in with him he exist only for that this is the proof ata eva vikaranatvat na iti chet uktam chet taduktam ityatra sutrakarah api tad uktam ityanena श्रुतेस्तु शब्द मूलत्वाकूत्रिकल पॉइंटिकूत्र so all the philosophy is summarized and coded into small small sutras 550 like that we have some its number changes from 1 to 1 so 5 10 anyway so there are there and these sutras so about this now we are discussing lord is having the so hands and legs but still he is akaranaha that means he is not having is those are all not the instruments for him so how this is what about in this matter shruti uh, this brahma sutras are saying so that's why there is one sutra vikaranatvat na sandhi babu sandhi i break the sandhi and then i am saying vikaranatvat na iti chet uktam tad uktam ओके विकर्णत्वात विकर्णत्वम इज द हेतु बाय दैट विकर्णत्वात न इति चेत तद उक्तम इत्यत्र तद उक्तम इत्यनेन आ व्हाट इज द मेन मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सूत्र विकर्णत्वात मींस ही डजंट हैव विकर्णा कर्णास मींस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स we karana means he doesn't have any instruments so that's why since he doesn't have vikaranatva that means not having the any instruments so this is the hetu not having any instruments that means he is not having any hands and legs vikaranatva means that so then what the based upon this one may say vikaranat vikaranatva na that means he doesn't have any shape or anything na means he doesn't have any form or he doesn't have any so anything actually one may say like that he doesn't have any shakti or otherwise that exactly i have to see but i didn't see this sutras complete meaning so vikranat vikranatva that means he since he doesn't have any hands and legs so na that means hands uh, he doesn't have any form or anything so na iti chet if you say like this then tad uktam tad uktam tad uktam tat uktam that is said what is that shruteshu shabda moolatvat means here since shrutis are saying he doesn't have any hands and legs based upon that you cannot say that he doesn't have any form then what uh, how can you prove then how can you say because taduktam that is said what is that what is said shrutesu shabda moolatvat what is the meaning of this shrutesu ha 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 ya shrutehe shabda moolatvat so whatever that means purupakshi is saying that means lord is simultaneously is doing the two things and he is also vibhu and also simultaneously is a anu also para anu both he is so how can you say this which logical it is not fitting then we say shrutehe shruti is saying why why you have to accept shruti shabda moolatva that means 
शब्द इज द रूट फॉर दी है शब्द इज द रूट फॉर दी शब्द इज द रूट फॉर दी हा शब्द इज द रूट फॉर दी प्रत्यक्ष एंड अनुमान एंड एवरीथिंग सिंस शब्द इज रूट फॉर दी एवरीथिंग एंड दट सो दट्स वाई यू के नॉट से दट मीन्स यू के नॉट यू के नॉट uh you cannot uh, you cannot reject you cannot go against to the shruti what do i am saying shrutesu shabd moolatvat means i am repeating just the meaning of this shrutesu shabd moolatvat means pura pakshi is saying that so your lord is vibhu or the hanu if you say is completely vibhu then he is uh, he is uh, he is vibhu means he doesn't that means everything is there everywhere he is then he cannot do anything if to do anything there should be space then uh. just i went to another switching the my discussion to the sutra shabda moolatva just so what i am saying just i am recalling your uh, previous things uh, just i am digging back so puro pakshi is saying uh, what this plant this grass is there this grass is is uh, is vibrating uh, hill rain patta hill rain actually so just this grass is i uh, some this leaf is vib- is is uh, shaking so tell me this activity is done by you are saying lord is sarva karana karanam so your lord is doing this activity okay good your lord is is he doing completely that means completely your lord is presenting here and doing this activity or some part of your lord is doing this this is a question actually who is saying puru pakshi is asking what you said you said that lord is cause for everything now they showed one example this leaf is shaking who is doing this then according to you that means pura pakshi i am so i am according you are all siddhantis so then according to you lord is the cause for that then your lord entirely coming and doing that activity or the part of the your lord is doing that so if you say entire lord is coming and doing then what problem will come <coughs> simultaneously there is one more leaf is also is shaking then who is doing that you are saying entire lord is coming and doing this then how he he is doing there because puro pakshi is not vedanti like you i am just a logician that's all i don't know the all this philosophy i know only one activity is done by one person at one time so that he and now based upon that knowledge i am asking this question puro pakshi means he will not think like you he will be thinking like his own way so that is the point actually so now that leaf is shaking so your lord entirely coming and doing then who is doing this simultaneously another activity is happening like this millions of activities are happening who is doing that then you then you say no 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 part of the our lord is doing then if you say your lord is having parts then your lord is not vibhu if anything is having parts then it is not vibhu then how can you say he is vibhu like this based upon logic this argument is presented by pura pakshi now what you said hey my lord is doing everything you are all saying this my lord is doing everything and also is vibhu he is doing everything and also vibhu how it is then shrute he shruti is saying that's why i am saying then pura pakshi will ask hey shruti why i have to follow shruti then you are saying siddhanti even for that your logic is also dependent on shruti only shabda shabda only without shabda so because logic also fail how you attend the tattva sandarbha class once again 
okay so now here come to your our point here this sutra what is saying vikaranatvat that means puro pakshi is saying vikaranatva lord we are hearing that lord is not having any hands and legs so that's why he is not having any form we declared like that they said then siddhant is saying na no na then why then you are why you are saying no because already i said shrute shabda mulatva so uh, how can you say this uh, tad means here we are taking shrute to shabda mulatva that means finally what is happening since see come to the, our text shrute to shabda mulatva ityukta rityaiva ಶ್ರುತ್ಯೈಕಗಮ್ಯಂ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ತರ್ಕ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಕರ್ಣ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಗಾರ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟ್ರೂ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಕರ್ಣ that means not having any hands apani pada and also he is pani pada both because shruti is saying it cannot be understood by the logic tarka atitam tarka atitam tasya vikarana vikaranatvam sakaranatvam vikaranatvam means not having the hands and legs sakaranatvam means having the ಸಾಧಿತತ್ವ ಸಾಧಿತವಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕೀ ಜ